Hi everybody, it's time for another quick tip from the editing room. I personally use the Adobe Creative Suite for pretty much everything that I do. I really love the dynamic link feature to round trip in and out of Premiere Pro and to other Adobe programs that I use. Now, after I updated my Adobe CC apps to the 2017 version back in November, I wanted to do a quick cleanup of some audio by dynamic linking to Audition. And to my horror, when I right clicked, the option to dynamic link to Audition was grayed out. Yeah! Nothing I did fixed it. And I was mad. So I did a quick Google search and found that Adobe actually does know about the issue and their suggestion was to uninstall both of the apps and then reinstall them and then press a bunch of buttons, shift and alt while the program is loading back up. I don't know about you guys, but I don't have time for all that. I got things to edit and deadlines to meet. So I tried to figure out a different way and here is what I did. Uh, I run Windows 10. So um, other versions of Windows will probably be sort of similar, but uh, this is how I fixed it and I'm not mad anymore. Okay, so to start off, open Audition and create a new session. And save the session file to your desktop. You can now close Audition. Navigate to the file that you created. It will have a .sesx extension. Change this extension to .ses. Now right click the file and choose Open With. Audition may be in the drop down there, but if it isn't, go to Choose Other App. Find Audition in this list and select it. Make sure the checkbox is clicked so that the .ses files are always associated with Audition. Click OK and Audition will open. It may throw you an error here, but that's OK. Exit Audition and open Premiere Pro CC. Right click on a piece of audio in your timeline and like magic, there's your dynamic link option. That's all there is to it. It's an association problem that really doesn't need all of that uninstalling and reinstalling that Adobe suggests. I hope that helps you guys out like it helped me out. Is there another editing tip or trick or something with Adobe Creative Suite that you'd like me to talk about? Tell me about it in the comments and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe.